All right, guys, I got this box from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Some of the things I'm not going to review on here. I just want to get one thing out of here. The rest is, you know, uh, press-ons uh, inventory that I was getting. I'm trying to organize my drawers, my nail art drawers to the best of my ability. And you know, the falls, the fall is just not working. So I bought something else for the foils. And um, got some Gorilla Glue, McCourt Nail Glue. Uh, Y'all tell me if this is uh, good. You know, I'm gonna, you know, put that in my um, press on nail. Uh, I bought some nail stands to work on these, um, work on this um, press on nail stuff. Um, it comes in a two set. Uh, I feel like plastic right there. They give you some tacky little putty too. I don't know how good those work, but we'll see about that. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Um, I hope that this will work. You know, I hope that this will work. Um, let's just go ahead and open this. And y'all know what this is. These little things. Let me look at, let me open these little things here. Because I know these little things. Oh, probably made. Look at gold and silver, but they probably ain't even metal. Oh, they flimsy, I tell you. And that little putty, um, I like that little size they put on there. That's a nice little size for that putty. This is the first time um, I ever seen that. Nobody ever showed that little part. Oh, y'all, I might have to get a They got some little circles, magnet circles that you can buy um, online, too. That's probably a little bit more. Oh, I, I want some sturdy. I might get another one of those little things. And another um, heavier weight um, magnet. That's what I'm trying to say. A heavier weight magnet to put on top of that. You know. See, uh-uh. That's what I'm talking about. That magnet is not, I just did like that and it comes off. You know, you cannot, you're not going to be able to file no nail with that stand on there. I'm going to have to get some more um, heavyweight stuff. Um, that's what you know, that that kind of stuff there. But you know what, them little, them little uh, weights that I'm talking about, they're not that expensive. And I'm going to get a better weight than that to, you know put another piece right there because you can tell that's some little light stuff there. I want something that you know you tap like that, it ain't going nowhere. So I'm that's gonna be another video. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about in another video, okay? Okay, that's that. Y'all yeah, know that's the nail tip displays when you want to do your nail art. But this is what I really to show right here to see if this gonna work for me. These are what they use for diamond painting. They put their little diamonds in there for diamond painting. I want to get in there one day, but when I seen that, I said, Woo, baby, you got to be having a mental problem to be doing that to calm your nerves down. Woo. I bought two of them, guys, and when I tell you, you get a bunch of, bunch of it. I'm going to leave the um, link in the description box because I can't remember how much these cost, but you get a whole bunch of them. And, guys, let me give you some thoughts so I can tell you what I'm tired of. You know, I be... You be ordering all them foils and they come, it used to come in a smaller circle containers. Now they come in that big old container. Yeah, where am I gonna store all that? Okay, y'all know I was storing this in there, in here. And this right here is still too bulky. I had those in those little booklets, y'all, if y'all seen that video. Then they come in here, and you know, then they come in those little circle things. And it's hard to store those circle things. And this right here is just too bulky. So, um, it just don't look right. I just, like, I want to, this is my drawer here, guys. And see how I got this right here? You know, and this right, look at this. I just, it just don't look right. Even though I can see everything, guys. I can see everything. But I feel I could get more fall in here than, than working with these big containers. This, this, I need something more narrow and convenient. So, you know what? <laughs> and I don't like stuff.
stack and stuff like that because then you're going to have to move it to see what you got. I just like to see everything right there and there. I'm just too impatient, y'all. I'm an impatient person. I'm too impatient to lift up a god dog on container. Okay. Um, so you get like uh, a bunch of them, guys. One, two. I think like they like 78 of them in here. Oh, Lord. I think it's about 78, if I'm not mistaken. I just, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen times four. So that's fourteen. Fifty-six. You get fifty-six. Okay. And I thought this would be good to put the foils in here. And it's also good if you want to store your rhinestones. And girl, you can sit that like that. Or you can sit that up like that. You know how many foils I can get up in here? Woo! I think this is going to work out, guys. Oh, let me go ahead and get one out. Okay, they have foils and long foils. And I think, um, you know, you can always cut your foils in half if it's too long for this container. So, um, look at this. I can't even get this open. Okay. All right. Now you can take this little part out too. Look at that. And honey, this is a deal for me. Take your little foil. Put your little foil in there. Put your little top back on there. Uh oh. Don't tell me I'm going to cut this fall because I will cut it. Okay. Kind of crinkle a little bit, but that's okay. Try to get, you know, you probably can, um, but I still like this idea. Look at that. Look at that. You can easily, you probably can put it in there a little neater than that. You might can, um, because you don't want to mess your fall up or crinkle it any bit. Anyway, I'd rather fold it. Even if you got to fold like that, just make sure you don't bend it. You don't want no crease in it. Oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. I then found what I was looking for. Look at that. Or you can place it like this. But if you place it like that, you still can get a lot of them in there. I think I'd rather place it like that. But that right there, you can still see it, but you, you probably have to turn your design like that if you want to put it like that. I hope y'all... Oh, I hope I was in... Um, you will put it like that or you can put it like that. It don't matter. Because if you put it like that, man, whoo, that's a lot of fall. But hey, I'm y'all best I got them. And they weren't expensive either, guys. This wasn't high at all. Not high at all. If y'all wants to store y'all falls, baby, here it is, baby. Here it is, baby. Oh my goodness. I like this idea, guys. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. I like this idea. Don't you know how many you can get in your drawer? Oh, my goodness. Yes, ma'am. Also, guys, a lot of people don't like this where they got to unscrew this and um, screw that back. Um, you can... Use this. Push your lid on there. And um, open this up. And you can pour how much you want in something else. I like these for this idea too. That's why I say, guys, I'm always finding something for you guys to organize your stuff with. And um, I'm trying to think her name. Um, I hope she see this video because she don't like have to unscrew these things either. And this little container that it comes in is nice too, to hold your gems too. It has a little case, a little handle, you know, if you're a mobile thing, you know, you could take with your little handle and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and it, it's not really, it really doesn't take that much room in your drawer either. It's not that much room um, because you can't get two bottles in between there. It's actually, 
a little thinner in width, smaller in width than this. So you might can get more of these in your drawer even though it's longer though. So you're losing some kind of weight. But I'm sure you can place these closer together than you can place these. Sometimes you can have two or three of these and you have a little bit of space there and you just can't fit another one in there because it's a round cylinder thing. So I don't have no problem with these or these for my rhinestones because I actually like the idea that I can pull that in like that into another container. So I do like both ways where it comes to, you know, you can also put charms, charms in there too. So this is very nice. These are, they're called um, diamond painting containers. So guys, I'm just gonna finish up all these and I'm gonna show you how to finish your results. All right guys, this is what I came to. I fit all my foils up in here, every last one of them. And I got one case left and there were 64 in a pack instead of what I said. I can't remember what I said, but 64. And um, yeah, and I got one, and I got a lot of room to grow. And this is only one draw with 128 foils in here. So guys, I like this idea. And you know, I'll just probably keep one of those on top of there because let me tell you what I did. Look, look what I got here. Look what I got here. I took all these out of here because I didn't want to bend any of them. I didn't want to have to bend any of my long foils. So it even fits better too. And um, yeah, you see, they sit in there very well, even though they like that. No dust and stuff going to get in there because it's a drawer and you close it up. Very nice. I think this is very nice. And this right here is for like, you know, you might, your fingers might be too big or whatever to get your finger in there. So you just take it out like this. And this ain't nothing but a plastic thing. You can use anything to take these out. My finger's a little bit too big for it to take it out. So really it's like a pour, but I do like this idea. I hope y'all enjoyed this little um, DIY hack for the fall organization. Until next time, y'all have a smiley day. Bye.